So to be honest with you, I first thought of it as just a, a way to get out of prison. Uh, so uh, obviously I said yes. I never dreamed that I'd be there four decades later doing the same thing. When I watched the movie, the only thing that really uh, that was not accurate as in real life I have two brothers and a sister he portrayed me as an only child so when you have a moment I want you to take a gummy bear and I want you to put the gummy bear on your thumb and then I want you to press down as hard as you can on that gummy bear till you see your thumbprint in that gelatin three-dimensional. Then I want you to take the gummy bear, lay it on your iPhone button, and access your iPhone. It'll work every single time. So fingerprints as a tool today are so easily replicated, and when you think about it, everywhere you go, you leave your fingerprints. You have an incredible teacher who I just met for the first time today, Robert Gary, who 14 years ago started writing me letters every year and asking me to come speak at his school. And to be honest with you, I get a lot of requests to go to a lot of schools and I do try to go to as many as I can, but it's difficult to go to all of the schools that ask me to come. So every time he would write, I'd write back and say, I'm sorry, I'm not in your area at that time and I really I can't come. And so after all these years, he continued every single year to write me. So this year when he wrote, I just said, I have got to go to this school. When I got involved with the FBI and you get involved with uh, what I consider to be some of the finest people in America, the men and women who love their country, love their family, uh, their ethics and character is upon approach. I think that you, that kind of wears off on you and after a while I realized uh, that's where I wanted to be and those are the things I wanted to do. I've been involved in the creation of some great technologies over my life. Uh, in the first 20 years I created a lot of print technology which I'm very proud of today is in passports, car titles, checks, negotiable instruments, driver's licenses. Crime has changed tremendously just from the time I started 40 years ago to, to today and it's constantly uh, changing so it's something you have to keep up with all the time. Probably the best advice I could give any teenager is to simply say that there are people all through your life that tell you that life is short, but the truth is life is not short. Life's very, very long. 
So someone from my generation, uh, I'm 69, I might live if I'm lucky to be in my 90s. Uh, someone from your generation will live to be well in their hundreds. So when you make a mistake in life, you have to live with that mistake for a long, long time. Unfortunately, people don't let you forget your mistakes. They remind you about them all the time. And what happens if you mistreat someone in life, uh, you're, you lie to someone in life, you deceive someone in life, you're unfaithful in a relationship with someone in life. Uh, when those things occur, they mean nothing. But 10 years later, 20 years later, as you get older, those things come back to haunt you and start to bother you. And they become a burden in your life. So what I would say to a young person today is don't put burdens in your life. Don't let those things happen to you. Uh, think them out. Always think before you act and do something or mistreat somebody or, how, or anything like that and think of, that it becomes later a, a tremendous burden. And something you have to live with for years and years 